Hello once again all my friends on uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Uh, it's Celine Driver again. Uh, coming at you with a different video this time. Um, as you probably recognize real quick, um, that chair there is where I do my conversation videos. Um, in my little uh, quote-unquote man cave room. Not really a cave because there's no basements where I live. You dig more than eight feet down and you hit the water table, so you really can't have a basement where I live. But this is a room on that was added on to my house uh, by a previous owner, and I use it to display my other collectibles besides my watches. Uh, no watches in here, just other things. And I thought I'd give you all a quick tour of it because people have been asking for it because they recognize that uh, there might be something more on the sides of those uh, the chair than um, than you could see. So I am a big collector of diecast cars. Um, I collect mostly now. I collect NASCAR. Uh, that's an American stock car racing series for you folks that are not uh, of the uh, America. Um, they're based on street cars loosely. If you want to find out more about NASCAR, you can certainly find plenty of websites uh, about that. Um, I collect mostly uh, two drivers, and I'm sure I'm going to get flamed for naming both of them. But uh, over here, in this case, uh, is all Danica Patrick, who of course is now a retired woman race car driver. And I'll get, I'll get to this case over here in a minute. And on this case, and this case, uh, and uh, up over here, are Kyle Busch. Um, both drivers have one thing in common in my mind. Both are um, no given uh, type of attitude. Uh, feisty if you will uh, say whatever there is on their mind kind of thing and I like that I'm gonna start over I'm just gonna run through these real quick um, these are all my Danica Patrick cars uh, the ones here on the top shelf are cars with a coating of a precious metal of some sort uh, that one is a yellow gold this one is a platinum and this one is a white gold car. These are from her Nationwide series days. Uh, these are two of her Indy cars. And that truck in the middle is a Christopher Bell um, championship truck uh, from 2018, I believe it was. Um, and the Danica car there is a signed car. Uh, these are two of Danica's cars. These are her final two races. That's her final NASCAR uh, Daytona 500 car, and that was her final year IndyCar car. And down here are various cars from the various years she ran in the uh, Cup Series in 17 and 16 and 15 you can tell the cup cars are the number 10 cars the nationwide cars are sevens in 2014 uh, there is a 2013 down here um, 2012 and 2011 and 10 she raced in uh, nationwide and then there's a test car down here that was when she used to do testing during the off season And I like Danica. I thought she did all right. I mean, you know, nobody gave her a uh, snowball's chance in hell and she was heavily criticized, but I am a, a fan of Danica. I thought she did a great job given uh, where she came from and what she was trying to do, and uh, I respect her for it. Uh, over here, uh, I have one of my Kyle Busch um, cases. Uh these are, of course, the, the labels are self-explanatory from the different years, 2016. Um, I believe the, 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 the nitrous oxide car and the Benfield, Banfield uh, Pet, those are nationwide car or Xfinity cars. They were called 
in 16. Um, most of these are, are cup cars. There are some nationwide cars, Xfinity cars in there. Different years, some of them are um, autographed, like this one. Uh, some of these are raced wins. They're, they're replicas of when, how they looked in the winner's circle, complete with confetti and burned up tires and all that. And we have various years. 2015, of course, was the year that he won the um, win, uh, Sprint Cup Championship after missing a third of the season with two broken, well, broken foot on one leg and broken leg on the other. Um, hell of a story if you care to research it. Various cars from various sponsors, uh, M&M's mostly, Snickers, M&M's Halloween, Monster Energy, another Halloween car there in the middle, uh, Cancer Car, you know, the, the Susan... Uh, Susan uh, Comey, I think it is her name. Co uh, I forgot her name. Anyway, so those are all car, uh, cars from Kyle Busch there. Coming over here, we have cars from 2017 and 2018. The 17s are on the bottom. And as you go up, you have 2018. And then on the top two shelves, you have some specialty cars. The... Uh, NOS car and the Z-Line car are 2009 cars from when he won the Nationwide Championship. This is a very special car and it is autographed. I think you can see that. This commemorated his 100th win in all series. Um, and these cars are precious metal cars. That one is plated in platinum. That one's in white gold. That one's in copper. And the platinum one is autographed, as you can see. Uh, I have a cancer car, which is autographed not only by Kyle Busch on the front, but his lovely and gracious wife on the back. Hopefully you can see that. And this, of course, is the championship car, as it appeared in the winner's circle at Homestead in 2015. This is... Uh, unfortunately not a signed car but I hope to deal with that fairly soon the only Sprint Cup car I have that's not a Kyle Busch car is this um, Tony Stewart car that was given to me for my birthday also up here we have some Kyle Busch cars these are special cars these both are commemorative sets these are what are called the sweep sets uh, in 2010 and 2017, Kyle Busch did what no other driver has done, and he's done it twice. He raced all three series, the truck series, the nationwide series in 2010, now the Xfinity series now, and the cup series. Won all three races at Bristol in the same weekend. You see, August 18th, 9th, 20th, 21st, August uh, 16, 18, and 19 in 2017. No driver has won all three races in one weekend. He's done it twice. This is a wheel man. I don't care what y'all think of Kyle Busch. He's the greatest driver going right now. These cars are from a company called the University of Racing. This is a legend series. These are all cars driven by racing legends. Uh, guys like, um, oh, let's see. We've got uh, Junior Johnson, uh, Fred Lorenzen, and who is this? Cale Yarbrough. Yep, Cale Yarbrough. Most of them are autographed by the drivers. There's another Junior Johnson, uh, A.J. Foyt. Uh, Daryl Waltrip, and on, and on, and on. The only ones that are not autographed are from drivers that are deceased. There are, what, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 24 cars in all. In the series, I have, obviously, all 24. These are mostly Fords and some Dodge uh, or Plymouth. Uh, 
Interestingly, no Chevys. I find that funny. Uh, over here, I have a very special Kyle Busch car. This was the car that he was driving when I became a Kyle Busch fan. This was the Martinsville race in 2007. Uh, this is the first race for, for the car of tomorrow, the fifth generation car with the goofy wing on the back and special, it was a safer, newer car. Uh, he got out of the car after winning the race. Someone stuck a microphone under his mouth and asked, asked him what he thought of the car of tomorrow. And he said in so many words, I think it sucks. And that's the moment I became a Kyle Busch fan. Because I said, if he's willing to say that and risk the wrath of NASCAR for telling the truth about their golden automobile that they've been working years on, that's worthy of my fan support. The rest of these are Danica Patrick 118 scale Indy cars. All these cars you've seen already are 124 scale. These are 118 scale. Uh, this one is a signed car. And so is that one. That's actually a cart blank car, but got her to sign it anyway. And these are also, um, these go from oldest to latest on the uh, Indy cars. I have some Formula One cars that interested me. That's Jason, uh, Jensen Button's 2009 Braun uh, championship car. I believe that's, um, that's uh, Juan Pablo Montoya's. Um, McLaren. This is a six wheel Terrell. Uh, Jackie Stewart's Terrell. Um, this is uh, Jim uh, Graham Hill's um, uh, car. And a very, very old Mercedes Grand Prix car. Uh, over here, I have my Porsches. These are all. Some of them are road-going cars that can be race cars. Some of them are not. They go from the 904, 906, the 908. Uh, I believe this one is autograph. Is it? I'm not sure. I thought I had the autograph. No, I'm sorry. That's the 910. That's a Vic Elford autographed 910. There's a 917 Hippie. There's the 917 Can-Am car. Uh, 935 slant nose Porsche 936 Le Mans winner this one I had to wait 18 months to get I pre-ordered it and it took 18 months for them to produce it famous um, famous uh, Porsche 956 and its sister the 962 there's a uh, uh, Porsche RS and the 919 hybrid fantastic automobiles over here hanging up we have two commemorative flags which were sent off uh, as part of the member as a member of the Kyle Busch uh, fan club I sent these off and had them autographed you can see the autograph uh, there and there oops anyway well i can't point that anyway this obviously commemorates its 200th win that happened in 2019 and his 2015 championship i have some gator footballs up there i'll, I'll close up on those in a minute i have some other die casts over here there's mostly mustangs uh well the top part of mustang uh that's an old uh tin car I, I um, put back together from somebody uh, some Fox body uh, 118 scale die casts these are all 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 a set all five of these Fox bodies plus a uh, 2000 Cobra R I have some Audi race cars these are the IMSA I'm sorry the SCCA Trans Am championship winning Audi cars these are the cars that got all-wheel drive banned from Trans Am competition. And then, of course, I have the four winning Le Mans cars here, the uh, TDI hybrids. And I have some miscellaneous um, European sports car um, 
pieces. I have the um, and the famous or infamous Group B um, Audi Quattro. And down here I have some 148 scale uh, cars, including in the middle there, if you look, you can see the four of five Lewis Hamilton uh, championship winning cars. You can see the blank space for the fifth one. It's still on order. Uh, and I have some a good collection of golf racing cars. I love the golf racing paint scheme. And uh, yeah, so I got as many as I could. <clears throat> I had more, but I sold a lot of them. Up here, I have a lot of, uh, I've collected a lot of mini helmets for the Florida Gators. These are all autographed, uh, except for that one in the middle. Um, some of these are autographed uh, Steve Spurrier's, uh, this one. And all these are Steve Spurrier helmets from all the teams he played for or coached. Obviously, he played for the Gators. He coached for the Redskins. He played for the Niners. He coached Duke. He coached the Tampa Bay Bandits for the old USFL. That was really hard to find. <laughs> and he played for the Tampa Bay Bucks. And he coached for the uh, South Carolina uh, Gamecocks. Uh, let's see. I have here, this is a uh, Chris Leak autographed. Uh, I believe these are signed by some of the running backs. Uh, this is a, a Tim Tebow and uh, this is Percy Harvin. And this one is an Urban Meyer and this one is a Spurrier. And Spurrier and or no, wait, no, this isn't Spurrier. This is, um, no, it is a Spurrier, sorry. And I have a uh, Spur, uh, Tim Tebow signed baseball bat, which I thought was a nice uh, get for me. Over here, I have my, uh, uh, something about, uh, I'd say two thirds of the books I have around. These are all mostly books about politics, economics, so sociology, history, that kind of thing. Um, I won't bore you with the titles. A lot of Glenn Beck, a lot of uh, Ann Coulter, Limbaugh, Malkin, Hannity, Levin. Obviously, I'm a conservative. Go ahead and hate if you want to. I don't care. Uh, that's my political leaning, and I read as much as I can to learn as much as I can. As I said, we have some footballs up here. Uh, commemorating their victory over Ohio State, their 13-1 and record for the 2006 championship, and, and the two championships in 96 and 06, and then their championship in 08, and championship in 08. And over here we show that I am an official Doctorate of Florida Gators football. That's an official, see, signed by Dan Mullen and Scott Strickland. Legit. And I have my stuffed gator that the battery's probably dead, but when you press his uh, paw there on the right, it plays the gator fight song. Anyway, that is my uh, my man cave, folks. I uh, hope I didn't bore you all to death. I know this is a bit of a long video, but uh, people have been asking to see an overview of this room, so I thought I'd uh, grant that uh, request. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. There, there it is. Thumbs up. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions down below. I, I read them all. I respond to them all. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber and uh, you want to subscribe to this channel, please click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon next to it so that you're informed of new content. I appreciate you hanging around and uh, looking at this video, and I will see you in the next one.